Hi, question number five taken from June 2002, advanced level maths HSC P3. The equation of a curve is y is equal to 2 cos x plus sine 2x. Find the x coordinates of the stationary points on the curve for which 0 is less than x less than pi and determine the nature of each of these stationary points. Seven marks for this question. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we have the equation as um, y is equal to 2 cos x plus sine of 2x. Now, for a stationary point, we should know that dy by dx is equal to 0, so we're going to differentiate this. So therefore dy by dx is equal to differentiate cos, you get negative, and you have a 2 here, and you get sine, okay? Differentiate sine, you get cos, and you have a 2 here, so you multiply by 2, so you can say plus 2 cos 2x. This is going to be 0, and therefore it says 0 is equal to negative 2 sine x plus 2 times cos 2x. What is cos 2x? It is 1 minus... 2 sine square x this is from your identities all right so 2 times 1 is 2 minus 2 times 2 is 4 sine square x and then you minus the 2 sine x is equal to 0 in other words we can see the minuses become pluses and this can become minus so we have then 4 sine square x plus 2 sine of x minus 2 is equal to 0. All that can be divided by 2. So we can say 2 sine of x, sine square x, plus sine x minus 2 is equal to 0. And here we have a quadratic equation. So we have 2 sine x, sine x. You have a 2 here, so you can say maybe, um, oh, sorry, 2 divided by 2 is going to be 1. So we can say 1 here, 1 here. And we have to end up with a plus sine x in, bit, in the middle. So maybe this is minus, this is plus because 1 times 2 sine x is 2 sine x minus 1 times sine x is minus sine x, 2 sine x minus sine x is sine x. Take that out, you get sine x is equal to half. Take that one out, you get sine x is equal to negative 1. Now if you look at um, sine x being negative 1 to your calculator, it's going to give you x is equal to negative half pi and we need the values from 0 to x to pi therefore this one is rejected and here x is going to be look that up from your calculator you're going to end up with pi up in 6 and then you use the quadrant if this is your basic angle pi up in 6 what is it going to be there so this whole angle here is pi so pi minus pi up in 6 is 5 pi up in 6 and here is here are the values of x. Now, we need to um, determine the nature of uh, each of these stationary points. This one and that one. So what we're going to do, we're going to differentiate um, this again a second time. So the second derivative of that is going to be, we already have dy by dx is equal to minus 2 sine of x, okay, plus 2 cos of 2x. If you differentiate that again, you're going to get d2y over dx squared is equal to differentiate sine x, you get cos, cos x, so minus 2 cos of x. And differentiate cos, you get negative. 2 times 2 is 4, and you have sine, because when you differentiate cos, you get sine. of 2x here is 2x here. Now, d2y over dx squared, we are looking at that when x is equal to pi and 6. So if you put pi and 6 here, you're going to end up with 2 times cos of pi up and 6 minus 4 sine over 2 pi up and 6. And okay, so if you work this out in your calculator, you're going to end up with a value of um, negative 5 up and 2 um, root of 3 which is then a negative value therefore what can we see when x is equal to okay pi up in 6 then we have 
d2y over dx square being negative that is less than zero and if it is less than zero then it means it has a minimum sorry a maximum point okay maximum point and that's the nature of this at that point minimum maximum point it is less than zero now we're going to do that uh, for x being 5 by open 6 so d2y open dx square when x is equal to 5 pi open 6 work that out you're going to get negative 2 cos x negative 2 cos of 5 pi open 6 okay and uh, minus 4 sine of 2x 4 sine of 2 times x x 2 times 5 pi open 6 and if you do that on your calculator you're gonna end up with um, d2y over dx square being 3 root of 3 which is a positive value therefore d2y over dx square is greater than 0 when it's greater than 0 it has a minimum point so these, this is the nature of each of these points uh, that's it, yeah.